Here we will show you how you can use LittleFS file system to create configuration file and host your custom HTML page on OpenBeacon device. This can be very useful if you want to script a custom behavior for your device, set up the Tuya MCU or create your own HTML interface that suits your needs. LittleFS is present on all OpenBeacon devices. To open LittleFS editor, first open the web application, then go to the file system tab. Here you can use create file button to create a new file. Enter a file name and confirm to create it. You can also see existing files by clicking list files button and then view content of files by clicking their file names. Let's first look at auto exec bat file. This file is executed at device boot time. It can be used to customize and script your device behavior. As you can see, we have a custom auto-exec file that first starts the NTP driver to get current time from web, then starts SSDP to make device visible by Windows and enables power save to reduce current usage and heating. Next, we set up a custom HTTP page button that will turn off the light with delay and finally, just for the sake of an example, stop the script execution until NTP gets the current time. It is possible to do much more in such script. For example, you can create loops and conditional jumps, but we will cover it in another video. Refer to our documentation for more information. OK, now let's take a look at another file, which is a HTML document hosted on our Wi-Fi module. As you can see, it's a very simple bootstrap page made with HTML and JavaScript. JavaScript can be used to control your OBK device from that page. Let's click Open in Browser button to open this custom page. This is how it looks in browser. This page provides a custom frontend for your device power control. You can use it to turn on and off the light. Of course, it's just an example. With some basic JavaScript knowledge, you can create any kind of custom frontend for your device. Everything here is scriptable and you can customize it in any way you want. We are also going to cover it more in depth in upcoming videos. Okay, that's all for now. Now you have learned the basic of LittleFS on OBK device. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please visit our forum. You can also see our IoT devices turndowns list, which has currently almost 400 entries. See you on the forum.